Hello everyone and welcome back to Alpha Racing League. This is round five of the tier one season in season four here in the Netherlands for the glorious Zandvoort circuit where we host our first ever tier one race around this track. Joining me for this one is Feta Cheese once more. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Milo. Um, ready for this uh, action-packed race. Hopefully a lot of, well, battles, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hopefully we see less incidents than last race. Uh, yeah, we'll just get ready. Absolutely, yeah. Tier 2 yesterday was uh, a bit of a nightmare for some. Uh, towards the closing stages when a couple of late wave safety cars were deployed amongst the chaos. Um, but this weekend... Hasn't been, uh, it hasn't been terrible. It's uh, actually been quite fun to see some racing around Zandvoort. And it began on Friday evening. Uh, with Tom Katori winning a race in the Red Bull for the first time. He switched teams uh, from Renault to Red Bull this week. And what do you know? Won his first race. Uh, quite a dominant display from him. In second place was Tommy Karate. And a back-to-back -back podium uh, for Joseph as well uh, in Mercedes. And Tier 3, it was a Racing Point 1-2 Deluxe. Uh, dominated, had a huge gap over Callum to bring home that 1-2 for Racing Point, and Utah Elephant was on the podium. Utah Elephant actually went on to reserve in Tier 2. Tier 2 was won by FH, taking a back-to-back -back win. He's right in the thick of the championship battle now. Oh, what is going on with Jarv? There's been a crash. Um, <laughs> interesting. I'm not sure what happened there as soon as I switched, switched over. Also on the podium was uh, Bennett and Atlantis in Tier 2. Something's happening to Jav. Might be a wheel problem. Has he been disqualified or... No, I don't think He's just so. sitting in the track. I'm not he sure what's going on. <laughs> um, there you go. I think his car is in AI. Might be back underway now. He's ghosted. Some quick lap time for being posted already. Sam Cole... Uh, up at the top at the moment. He uh, is out of LMG and such J. But yeah, Feta <laughs> amongst all that. The uh, Jarve happens. But yeah, um, this weekend. First race at Zanvo, of course, in the league. You know, the track. Um, the, the driving. What's been your, what's been your favourite bit about it? Well, <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of safety cars. I wouldn't exactly say promoting racing, but promote promote excitement, more 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 action. A lot of a lot of impatient moves can be can be done around here, and you you really need to exactly like I said, be be patient in this track. Qualifying is a big factor for this race. Uh, Sam Cole. Love this track. <laughs> I I I talked to him a lot, and he he has a seven point eight in qualifying, I think, or seven point seven. So he he won GSR as well, GSR two won. So he is hungry for his first race win and the triple crown. If he does manage to win this race, he will get the triple crown. F4 LMG not far behind him though, only a few hundreds. So hopefully he can. Um, Give him a fight for the lead. Obviously, he is not fighting for the Triple Crown, but it will still be someone to look for. Um, Such J also, really, a really fast guy around this track. Uh, yeah, uh, those are my, I guess, the three that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, good insight there into what to expect from this one. Uh, I will just quickly talk through the reserve situation. We have Busy Gorgon in the Alpha Tari today making a um, first appearance of the season, I believe. I don't no. think he's uh, he appeared uh, in had an outing. Oh, Bahrain, of course, round one. But yeah, uh, yeah other than that, in the Alpha Tari today, um, his quality pace is a madness. So, you know, expect to see stuff from him. Brute Gorgon as well, um, if you remember back to last season at Silverstone, just the pair came together, um, which was um, ironic, but Brute Gorgon <laughs> as well, uh, not reserving, but just a word on his pace, of course. Uh, TRT Warman in the Alfa Romeo, uh, there's still an absent open seat in that team, I do believe, I don't think it's been filled, so 
Wellman takes that slot today and Alfie George replacing F1 driver who has a race ban after last week's collisions at Baku. You could also look at it the other way around, of course, but yeah, anything you expect from these guys? Um, Alfie George, he retired in the race, I think, so he's hungry for some points finishes at least. He got drafted into Tier 1 two races ago, I think, so he is... Yeah, he's he's just wanting wanting to get to get some first point finishes, and we don't have to forget the two Red Bulls, one two, so they are very confident coming into this race, and hopefully they can repeat what they did in Azerbaijan, fight for those leads, fight for those podiums. Hopefully, a bit of teamwork. Um, Jab also. Jab is, well, he said in the Ferrari team chat, he's not looking forward to this race. Obviously, it's a very hard track to go side by side on and without contact. So, yeah, it's, it's, it, this, it's, it's up and down for some. It's, yeah, it's, it's basically that. <laughs> Home Grand Prix for TRT Seed. He's in the final sector now in the Ferrari. And what could have been at Bahrain, really, what an occasion it would be for him to uh, get a form of redemption today. Hugs the inside line, crosses the line and stays in seventh place. Solid qualifying uh, position so far. I think we had Brute Gorgon uh, crossing the line there. Hopefully that won't get confusing, but... See, there's that uh, glitch at the bottom. But I will watch V2 Combat, actually. Oh. If you oh. wouldn't mind inviting LMG yeah. back. Such J with a 108.1 is now the benchmark. V2 Combat uh, goes into ninth place. But yeah, what a lap from Such J. Two tenths clear now. And uh, if any of you would like to get your predictions in the chat, I'll be uh, very happy to read them. They're always entertaining. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a look at the standings right now. VRT mm. Lily is currently leading with 30, well, the same points that he had, 30 points, right? And last race, uh, of course, LMG had, I wouldn't say redemption, but he had the chance to grab 10 points at least. He was in fifth place until he crashed out in the pits, which was very unfortunate, and he, yeah, he retired, so, and li actually, no, Lily got points in that race. He got ninth, I think. No, Tansk was fast as up, so he just gained two points. It's it's still, I wouldn't say close, but it's still remaining the same gap for this race. Hopefully, some stuff turn around for the rest of the championship standings. Um, let's see with the constructors. Oh, I, can't, I can't seem to find them. Yeah, with the constructors. Uh, Williams Lee, 113, with Red Bull in second, 76, grabbing that one, two, of course, and McLaren in third with 54, so it's a pretty big gap, but hopefully, hopefully there's some, like I said, some changes to it, to this race especially, so we can have some nice stories for the rest of the season. Red Bull with the 1-2 last week in both qualifying and the race, of course. Puts them on a very, very high note coming into this one as well. Already a win in Tier 4 this weekend as Kyle SO2 crosses the line and goes uh, into 14th place. Should be able to get four runs in around this track. So qualifying always has um, a very exciting feel to it. A lot of drivers pushing the limits of the clock and uh, getting in those quicker lap times. But yeah... Um, like you say, thank you for running through the standings. And <laughs> obviously, still a lot to change today if um, we have a race similar to Tier 2 yeah. or whatever. Um, this should be interesting. But yeah, Red Bull, good points gained. And obviously, Jack and Axe, a hard target. So if they at least give them a fight, you know, you've got to give full credit to them. But obviously, with full respect to Williams as well. Leaving the constructors as well. Dominant. Absolutely, yeah. Also have to know, Renault are on zero points right now. So, Brugorgan with this fourth place, can he capitalize on the race and, yeah, get their first point finish for Square? Who's obviously retired, but he is still in the league. Mm. 
Yeah, Renault not having a best of, uh, the best of seasons once more. I think LMG's having some quite uh, oh bigger difficulties, but it's a shame to see, of course, because he wants to chase down Jack. He wants to fight for every race win. BRT Lily crosses the line and goes onto the front row. So a slump there down in P18 did not last for long at all. He's uh, up to second now and what else <laughs> did we expect? Missed out uh, on pole position for the first time last week uh, this season. So um, maybe Such, who took last week's pole, can uh, start a streak for himself. He'll be up to two in a row and <laughs> aiming to match Jack for sure. Okay, sorry, I had to do something on back. No worries. Um, yeah, anything else to mention? Oh, Brute Gorgon pops up to fourth place in the Renault. Fantastic opportunity to get some points. Track position is key around here. Everyone committing to the soft so far. Uh, you're able to start on them. No problem, to be honest. So even those outside the top 10 may be looking for an aggressive strategy. But um, Jab up to fourth now as well, who sadly, sadly had a thrilling, thrilling fight with Corey Marshall. Uh, he was leading going into... The final sector and uh, unfortunately got on the throttle too early and sadly it was race over yeah yeah uh, I jab has shown incredible pace throughout the season he's been fighting for polls he's been fighting not well yeah polls but he's been fighting for podiums hopefully he can do it again this season and yeah I mean sorry this race and get more points for Ferrari So I'm just trying to reset the bottom thing where it says um, how Jav disqualified from session. Oh, that's oh. annoying. Uh, there we go. It's all gone now. So we will actually be able to see when the fastest laps pop up. Another fastest lap. Not fastest lap. A fast lap has been set. Sam Cole now about four hundredths of a second behind Such J in uh, a very, very close qualifying so far. The whole field separated by nine tenths. Busy Gorgon. Rounded off by SV Tax. Busy Gorgon. Up to P3 indeed. One, 108.2, five thousand, five thousand <laughs> behind uh, Sam Cole. Everybody yeah. in the pit lane now, he, ready to start the final run. He got the front row last time out in Bahrain, but then he crashed out. So hopefully he can uh, repeat what he did in Bahrain and get a front row. And hopefully this time, um, actually capitalize on the race and not crash out and stay out of any fights everyone's in the pits trying to go out the final time for the, their last lap you're right and for the close field spread the final lap is always important no invalidations any mistake in the lap is costly it will deny the opportunity to move up a few positions because that is basically how things are split at the moment. Very, very close stuff. Busy Gorgon <laughs> coming into the pits as everyone leaves. So he really, really is uh, running short on time, to be honest. But first one out is Tax. Got a nice clear track. Um, he hasn't had a great season so far, but can you blame him? Um it's okay to not feel motivated with the F1 game. I think everyone knows that, but <laughs> Texas felt that period, felt in that period for a while, but no, keeps going. He uh, doesn't cry about trotting around at the back so far this season in Tier 1, but go every week. Yeah, obviously team leaders are a thing in this league, so... If you, you know, if you don't perform, you're out, but if you do perform, you get to stay, and th there are a lot of, all the cars are equal, but there are, you know, some notable team leaders. Team leaders do kind of make a difference with the environment of their teams, you know, with how they improve. 
Yeah. You see Lily getting out of Tax's way then. Everyone else is on an outlap, but uh, luckily he's just avoided the traffic uh, by you know, leaving the pits that little bit earlier. I think we've got someone slow. It's VRT Lily. I'm not sure if that's a spin or just letting everyone else on outlaps through. Yeah, it must be. Um, looking for that clear air. He may be mistaken thinking that other people have gone out as early as Tax and uh, started their lap earlier, but Yep, that is VRT Lily. He's in the fight for pole. He wants to get in the mindset, the clean air. Knows the tricks in the book he does. Oh, LMG's coming up to traffic. That's Axe. And, well, I don't know if he's felt he's been impeded by that. He had a great sector one. But everyone else being on outlaps mostly... Oh, he's losing the car now as well. The momentum's gone in the middle sector. LMG is coming up to two cars as well, fighting for track position. So oh, it is getting a little bit chaotic at Zanvor. LMG crosses the line, oh. cannot improve. And that will be as a result of the middle sector because his first sector was good uh, for sure. Uh, VRT Lily now on a lap. Busy Gorgon is improving. Uh, what a brilliant, brilliant moment that would be if he was to get pole. Such J uh, in the first sector. Sam Cole in the middle sector now as well. Very, very smooth run. And onto the back straight, breaking just after the 100 meter board. Flings it into the right hand chicane. Hugs the inside, inside, inside chicane. <laughs> Lovely exit, not using the curb. And into the penultimate corner. Next up is the banking. Oof. Aggressively getting on the throttle. And what could this be for such J? Busy Gorgon misses out by three thousandths of a second. And Sam Cole goes on to provisional pole. But VRT Lily has him validated, oh and that will not be pole for him. What about a pole up now? Yeah. Eight fourth. Eight fourth. Lily cannot improve. What about Axe coming across the line? He's barely improving. <laughs> it, uh, it's funny now because he's getting held up by LMG a little bit, who's kind of slow in the middle of the track. Axe crosses the line seventh fastest. Alfie George has. Potentially run out of fuel. V2 Combat, who's 18th at the moment. Where can he get up to as the final car? Uh, into the top 10. Didn't see where that was quite. 10th place. So, uh, oof, how do we digest that, Feta? There's Sam Cole. Oh, has the party died? I think the party's died and I'm talking to myself. Oh, no. It has. Uh, this is awkward, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. The the um the party died, so yeah, had to sort that out. Ten seconds to run through the order. Sam Cole, Such J, Busy Gorgon, GSR Aid, VRT Lily. Jab, Axe, Brute Gorgon, Polar God and V2 Combat, the top 10, and all separated by three and a half tenths. Yeah, sorry about that. Has it died again? No, it hasn't. Okay, cool. An overcast race as well at Zanvoort. We'll be running through our favourites very quickly on what is a shorter formation lap. So, uh... Okay. Ten seconds to go then, Feta. I'll hand it over to you to uh, pick out some of your favourites for this race because, well, <laughs> I know it's hard, but... <laughs> oh, I can't see the grid right now. 
Well, I'm. Oh. Oh, Jarv. Jarv left. left. Okay. Sam Cole's left. What's happening? What is happening right now? Both Mercedes leaving. Hold on. I'm let me invite them. Yep, I'll invite them. I guess you can. You can. Um. Explain right, your favorites. Yeah. Well, hopefully, if Sam Cole is able to get back in, and uh, I'll monitor the Discord chat for this one as well, because if there's something that needs to be done... I mean, everyone else is intact, so I'm really not sure what's going on, whether it's my internet or... Not enough players to start a lobby, says Jarv. Well... Oh, oh man. If it doesn't let either of them join, there will have to be... Um, a restart for sure, but I don't know ABS Jarv. Oh man! But yeah, Sam Cole. Hopefully, if he gets back in, can gun for that first race win uh, <laughs> for Russia. <laughs> for <laughs> Russia. Um, such J might have been handed a good position here but it's it's not letting Sam join well uh, uh oh well um hopefully Sam's AI can do something good start yeah, I guess I 